Hospitals in both Carolinas meantime seeing a surge in COVID patients. Tonight, health officials sounding the alarm as this latest rise takes aim at children. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes has been talking to the doctors about this on the front lines. Just days before the first day of school, Atrium confirming that they are seeing an increase in pediatric patients at Levine Children. Novant doctors saying they're seeing more kids showing up in pediatricians' offices with COVID cases. Meanwhile, hospitals in both Carolinas saying they're preparing for a surge. So this week I've seen babies, toddlers, school-aged children, and teenagers um, across the board come in with COVID uh, diagnoses, COVID symptoms. In the past week, pediatricians at Novant Health inundated with kids with COVID. Doctors say Delta causing more kids to contract the virus and they're spreading it more easily to their peers than the other variants. Children's hospitals in South Carolina so slammed. We've never had as many children at this time. They've had nowhere to put the sick kids. We had children holding in the emergency room who had to be there for 24 hours. Levine Children's Hospital confirming Thursday they've had an increase this week in pediatric COVID patients. Meanwhile, Novant Children's Hospital planning for a COVID surge they haven't seen yet, but they're already stretched thin with kids with other viruses raging right now, like RSV. And so right now our hospitals are very, very busy with children who have other viruses. All teams are really on deck and um, hoping that we can stop this surge before we fill our hospitals with children with COVID as well as the other respiratory illnesses. Between the COVID spike, the other illnesses and back to school. So it's creating a perfect storm. Doctors calling on parents and caregivers to do whatever they can to protect their kids. Most of the children upstairs are unvaccinated. The only people that can protect them are you. We can't because by the time they get to us, it's too late. Doctors explain today that usually complications from COVID take a couple of weeks to show up. So if they're seeing an increase in the pediatrician's offices now, additional increases in the hospitals could be happening in the next couple of weeks. I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.